Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with this little book, The Upper Room. Today is July 17th, 2020, Friday, and the title of today's devotional is Sleep in Peace. Let me read the Bible first. The scripture is from Psalm 121, verses 1 through 8. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Amen. Another scripture is Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Amen. Today's story is from Juita, uh, who lives in Indonesia. One night when my younger brother and I were kids, he had a nightmare. I gave him a hug and asked him to go back to sleep. But he said the nightmare kept coming every time he closed his eyes. I suggested that he talk to God. So he sat down, prayed, and slept in peace. He didn't even need a hug from me anymore. I am still amazed at the sincerity of the little ch child's heart, the ability to simply trust God. After my brother ended his prayer, he truly believed that God had listened to him and would, guide, would guard him through the night. As an adult, I have often recalled that moment when I have faced fear and uncertainty. In those times, I remind myself to trust God with all my heart and to worry less, to believe that God watches over me in every situation. I have learned to let God take over what I cannot control. When I do, God grants me peace. Amen. Many times we heard the voice of God. Trust me. Trust God is a simple thing. However, sometimes it is not easy for us. We think too much about our situations and background, all things near us. However, God says, don't be afraid, don't be afraid, don't be afraid of anything because I am with you, because I will protect you, because I will guide you. In the Bible, there is God's voice of that message a lot in many places. To God's people, God always say, don't be afraid because I'm with you. I can do everything for you. 
I hope we trust God more and more, deeper and wider, as the little boy, let's trust God. As the little boy had the ability to simply trust God, let us have that. If we cannot, let's ask God to give us the ability to lead us to trust God through the Holy Spirit. Let's ask God to give us signs of His presence and His love. Let's ask God, open our heart to feel His presence, God's presence in our lives. So that let us trust God all the time. We are God's people and God promised us to be with us, to keep with us, uh, to keep us in His arms all the time, to protect us. So let's trust God more and more. That is the first step we can do, we will do, and we should do in our faith journey. So let's do that. As we read the Psalm 121, our help come from the Lord. And the Lord is our keeper. The Lord is our shade. The Lord will keep us from all evil. The Lord will keep our lives. The Lord will keep our going out and our coming in. Let us trust God all the time. Let me read a prayer prayer uh, that Juita wrote in this page, and then add, I, I will add my prayers. Dear God, help us to have a heart like a little child to trust that you will show us the way through any fearful situation. We pray as Jesus taught us, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Gracious God, we give thanks to you because we know that you are with us all the time and you protect us all the time. You are our God who remember your children, who keep your children under your wings. Lord, we ask your protection and we ask you to lead us to trust you more and more. Like a little child who trusts in you easily and simply, let us trust you and let us be like the child who trusts you simply. Lord, please remember your people who are suffering from the loss of their family members, who are suffering from illness, who are experienced domestic violence and feel lonely, who are struggle with this situation caused by pandemic. Lord, please listen to your children's crying and pour out your mercy and grace to us. We need you all the time. And we ask you, your presence all the time. Lord, give us your strength for today and tomorrow. 
and let us worship you together in, on Sunday. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I hope you have a great day and wonderful weekend. And I will see you on Sunday through online and in-person worship. And also, I will see you next Tuesday for daily devotion. Have a great day. And I pray that you and your family are well and safe in Christ and God. Thank you. Bye-bye.